What's up, Doug? Nothing much, dude. You know, just hanging out, playing, you know, dirt bike games and stuff. So, uh, a lot of people have been wondering, where's Donut? Donut's not making videos, and they're telling me to tell you to make videos. So, uh, that's what that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <sighs> right. Um, you want to play some Siege? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll be there. Oh, oh, nice. nice. Shablimes. Shablimes. Yeah, Shablimes. Yeah, Five seconds for me. Genius, don't panic. Wow. Don't worry. Right, right, you're right, stuck right, in the right, go. God damn it. What's up, homie? Scooty? Dude? Bro. Where you been, man? Just throwing down it? some schmeezers on the old Rainbow Six Siege, dog. My dude, I just unlocked a chunka. You wanna throw down? Yeah. Jesus! Good game. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, dude. Nope, he's coming up now. No, 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 no. Another one. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Stuck oh. in a tree in the ocean. Try, Somebody call Honey. Honey. Dude, have you seen the new Supercross game footage on PC or whatever the hell someone playing it on? That shit was fire, man. Dude, hold on, shut up. I'm trying to listen. Nah, nah, dude, they for real. So people been streaming it and all this. One dude, no, the footage dude, looks flame. God damn it, dude. This shit better be worth it. Why do? <sighs> Check out this shit. Alright, send that shit, homie. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, you the guy who talks shit on the new Supercross game? So that's who I've become, huh? Just the guy who talks shit about everything. Well, you know what, Darius? This calls for a video. And this game's gonna suck. And this game's gonna suck. And that game will be trash. Everything is garbage. MX Simulator is the only good game ever made. And that is fact. Trash. Trash. Garbage. Worthless. Trash. Don't pre-order. I hate everything. 
everything is terrible. My opinion is 100% fact. You are objectively wrong. MX Sim for life. What's this man's want now? Hot laps in Hotlanta. Uh. All right. This game looks good. Actually, I'm gonna talk about Supercross the game first. A couple of months ago, this game just did not look good. So I told you about it. The physics looked wonky. The camera would turn with the whip, which was really awkward. And the game just didn't look fun in general. But then Milestone comes out with some new gameplay, and they're all like, Y'all mind if we turn the physics on? So they turn the good physics on, and then we get some new gameplay a couple of months later. And yeah, it looks good. Look at those whips. Sure, it still looks like a preset whip animation, but at least they look really good now. Even more exciting than the whips, though, is this berm right here. Since the whole game's gonna be super cross tracks, obviously, we're just gonna be blasting berms the entire time we're playing the game. So the berms better be fun to hit, and it looks like it. Ah, uh, but do not. That's because the game was a work in progress. It's a work in progress. It's idiot. Work Man. in progress. Wow, you did it, guys. It's a work in progress. It says on the screen. Wow, you got me there. Boys, it's 2017. Okay, it's 2018, but boys, it's 2017. Any game that's still in beta is just a demo of the finished product nowadays. We want examples. Alright, alright. Destiny 2, COD World War 2, Battlefront 2 played the beta and the finished product of all of them, and they were the exact same carbon copy of the beta, which is totally cool. I have no problem with that. I'm just saying, I think it was fair to judge the game as a finished product at the time, but it won't happen again. Oh, <sighs> but it's too late. I've already lost the respect of Mark Anthony, Angel of Mercy, dude. As he goes on to talk about how the in-air physics on a supercross track aren't that important. You know, where literally every section is a series of jumps. Have mercy for me, Chris Angel, mind freak! Wait, Chris Angel, Spooky, bro. Yeah, that was pointless. I just wanted to make fun of Chris Angel. What a goofball. The new track editor looks pretty cool. It's about what I expected, like the new age version of the Excite Bike track editor I showed in the last video. It ought to add some longevity to the game. And my favorite part of the game... Drifting! This doesn't at all take away from the game for me. In fact, I think it's hilarious that they would add this in. When in real life, you do not want to drift. You'll lose speed. You want the bike to track. But hey, let's just give them points for drifting, baby. I think it'll make for a good meme, a good goof, and a gaff and a laugh. And a I feel like the guy who came up with the skill point system from MXGP3 is definitely the guy who came up with the drift mechanic in Supercross the game. They're just like, well, Phil, what are you going to contribute this year? <laughs> Skill points, uh, the drift, uh, NASCAR, Legos. So yeah, I'll see y'all for the Supercross the Game stream tonight when it comes out. And I think we all know it's going to be pretty good. We kind of know what we're going to get with it. On the other hand, we got the wild card, MX vs. ATV All Out. It looks completely different, built from the ground up, so it could be really bad. It's probably going to be pretty damn good. One thing's for sure, it can't possibly be worse than Supercross Encore. It's it's actually impossible. It can't be worse. Of course, I also trashed on this game, but that's because of THQ Nordic's track record, which is pretty bad the past seven years. They really haven't put out anything decent since Alive. But then they drop this gameplay and it's like, shabloimst, they're back in the race again. I still see a lot of people complaining how the air physics look too floaty or that the scale is too big. But, you know, it's an arcade motocross game. Who really cares? As long as the physics are fun. And this game just looks fun. You have full control over the whips, thank god, unlike Milestone's preset whip animation. Which still looks good, but it's not as good as, you know, throwing it any way you like. You can even throw oppos, from what I can tell from this gameplay on their Instagram. 
The bikes sound pretty awful, but once again, y'all know I don't really care about any other aspects of a moto game except for the physics, as long as the physics are fun. They could sound like lawnmower engines and I'll be fine with it. I'm sure we all had a mini heart attack after seeing the freestyle gameplay. It kind of looks like a completely different game here. It looks just awful. They maybe should have gone with the work in progress in the bottom left, but luckily they, they revived all hope with the new Supercross gameplay. And props to Nordic for releasing gameplay of someone who's good at the game. It makes the game look so much better. Milestone needs to learn how to do this. They hand it off to like Team VVV, and no offense guys, but you're just not that great at motocross games. Makes the game look kind of shitty, you know? Is it me, or does this look similar to the turning in Unleashed? Which isn't bad, Unleashed was really fun, so, you know, looks cool. Looks cool. So yeah, all in all, I think everything's just gonna be trash, cause let's be real, the only good game out there is the new Connectable Baby! Now with Biz! Oh. Yeah, that song would be pretty fitting here, but getting demonetized, so, yeah, uh, mm-hmm.